Hey everyone, welcome to our first video of the new year. And today I want to talk to you about the Blackmagic Camera app and the iPhone 15 Pro and how I use them to record 4K ProRes files and proxies at the same time and work with them in DaVinci Resolve. Now, because this app was specifically designed to work seamlessly within DaVinci Resolve, that's the app I prefer working with. This is not to say that you can't use Final Cut Pro or any other app to perform proxy workflows with this app, but there's just a few more steps involved. And honestly, it's nowhere near as slick as what I'm about to show you in Resolve. Today, I'll be shooting with the iPhone 15 Pro with a one terabyte SSD that's attached to the phone using a MagSafe sticky magnet that I purchased on Amazon. This is a minimalist setup for shooting in my studio, but when I'm out on location, my rig looks like this. The link for both the magnet and the USB cable I'm using is in the description. So with that, Before I get to the settings I use in the Blackmagic Camera app, I want to talk about Blackmagic Cloud, an online cloud service that I use to store and manage all my proxy media. Go to the Blackmagic Design website, then click the cloud icon on the toolbar to log in. If you don't have a Blackmagic Cloud account, you'll need to create one. By the way, it's free and comes with 2 gigabytes of storage, but you will have to pay 5 bucks per month if you intend on sharing your library with other users. As you can see, I'm already logged in, and by clicking this arrow in the upper right, I can see how much online storage I have available out of my available 500 gigabytes, which currently I'm paying 15 bucks a month for. And in my opinion, totally worth every penny since I'm shooting so much more Perez on my iPhone these days. The next thing you'll need to do is create a cloud project in DaVinci Resolve. Press Shift 1 to open the Project Manager. If you've never worked on a cloud project, Resolve opens to the local Project Manager. That is to say, all projects that are locally connected to your Mac or PC. Click the cloud icon and you'll see only projects that are stored in Blackmagic's cloud. Click the new project button and in step one, you'll give your project a name. In step two, you'll choose an internal or external drive location to save your imported media. This will be the location that your proxies will be downloaded to. I have mine currently set to my local movies folder. In step three, you decide whether you want to share your project with other users around the world or keep the project to yourself. I'll leave this set to single user. Next, you'll choose what media you want to sync with the cloud. I have no interest in syncing huge 4K ProRes files to the cloud, so I'll leave this set for proxies only. And finally, you have the option to allow other connected users to upload directly to your cloud project if they're given access to it. Click Create and Resolve will open an empty project in whatever page you were last working in. When you're in a cloud project, a cloud icon will appear next to the home icon in the UI. Clicking on it brings up some additional options. In order for the Blackmagic Camera app to upload directly to this project, click the Enable Disable Capture icon, then click Allow. Going back to the cloud website, if I click on the cloud project icon, I should see the project I just created in DaVinci Resolve. With Resolve all set up, I'll head over to the Blackmagic Camera app. I'll start by tapping the Settings button. Under Record Settings, I have the codec set for Apple ProRes 422, the resolution to 4K, and the color space to Rec. 709. Jumping down to the Media tab, I'll set my upload clips to Proxies Only. As I said, I have no interest in uploading 4K ProRes camera originals. I also want auto upload to selected project enabled so I don't have to upload my proxies manually. Under Save Clips 2, I'll make sure that my external SSD is targeted next to files. Under File Name Convention, I prefer iOS naming because the names are so much shorter. And finally, I'll scroll down to the bottom and select Blackmagic Cloud. Because of the setup work I did in Resolve, the project I created is already targeted for proxy upload. But there's still one more step. Tap the media icon, then locate your project from the list, and tap to select it. Now when you select the camera, your project will appear as a blue badge just above the timecode display. So now I'm ready to shoot. Let's head over to LEGO City to get some tasty shots. I'll press the record button to record my first shot. Then hit record again to stop. As soon as the file is closed, the app begins uploading the clip to my Resolve project in the cloud. I'll record a few more shots. 
Each time I press stop, the proxy file is automatically uploaded. Back in DaVinci Resolve, a folder named Camera Uploads has been created in the master bin, and inside are all my proxy clips. They even appear with a pink badge indicating they are proxies. If I select any one of them and reveal the file inspector, the metadata indicates that these clips are 4K. But they're really not. If I reveal the clip in the finder, I'll be taken to the local folder I determined when I set up the cloud project. But notice, the actual file size of the clip is 1920 by 1080, not 4K. So why is this? Here's why, and it's very smart of the Resolve team to flag them as 4K and Resolve, not HD, because when I create the 4K timeline, they'll be scaled to the proper delivery size, so that when I relink the original media, it will match the timeline settings perfectly. I'll select all the clips, right-click and choose Create New Timeline from Selected Clips. I don't want to use the project settings, so I'll uncheck that, and under Format, set the timeline resolution to 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD, and the frame rate to 30. By the way, if I choose Disable All Proxies from the Proxy menu, all the clips will be offline. To relink my timeline to the camera original ProRes files, I'll plug in the SSD into my Mac, then click the Relink Media button. I'll click Locate, then navigate to my SSD, and click Open. The timeline is now pointing to the 4K ProRes files on my external drive. If I choose Prefer Camera Originals, a badge will appear over each clip, indicating that I'm viewing the high quality media, not the proxies. So that's my proxy workflow in a nutshell. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're interested in more tutorials on using Blackmagic Cam and DaVinci Resolve for Mac or iPad, let me know that as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.